Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Scooby Steve. I just got back home from C2E2. I'm super excited to show you some videos and pictures of me while I was in the Funko line and also show you guys all the exclusives I was able to get at the Funko booth. If you guys can, definitely hit that follow button, hit that like button. Also, leave a comment if you were there at C2E2 and whatever Funko Pops you were able to get today. <laughs> If you don't have your passport, you're gonna to wanna to go around the corner. They're only five bucks. We want you to get your passport because we're gonna to be touching down at several different destinations all year long. We're gonna keep this going all year long. You get special stamps. Show them, Carissa. Look at that beautiful dude right there. Fun maker Mike, Captain Mike. So go get your passport, get your passport photo, get your different stamps. Show them those stamps. If you find me, I'll stamp your passport. All right, who has a passport? Show me one and I'll give you some wings. Where? Where? All right, there you go, sir. You come on up too. It's about time to start the first session of C2E2, kicking off our events. All right, guys, now we're done with all those videos and pictures. Let's get into real fun stuff that you guys are really looking forward to, the exclusives. All right, guys, what is a Funko event without Funko's mascot himself, Freddy Funko? I love the theme that they brought to C2E2 with the Funko Airways theme. And what was really cool about this pop is limited to only 3,000 pieces. I'm pretty sure I've seen every single person from the Funko booth today walk away with either one of the Funko mascots. And speaking of Funko mascots, for the very first time, Funko has released Franny Funko. And I was super excited for this one and I could not pass it up. And just like Freddy before, this piece was limited to 3,000 pieces. And if you're at the Funko event today, there is no way you could be a Funko collector and pass up the first Franny Funko Funko Pop. As a big anime fan, I was really excited that Funko decided to come out with another My Hero Academia Funko Pop. And as you can see, we got your boy from the big three, Togata, or a.k.a. Lemillion. And this mold of this Funko Pop is amazing. It looks really good out of box. And Funko did a great job with the design on this one. As a huge Marvel fan, I was super stoked to see that Funko was coming out with another Tony Stark Funko Pop. And this design on it was very interesting to see him half in a tuxedo and half in the Iron Man suit. After taking this pop out of the box, it definitely has put itself in the top 10 of my favorite Marvel Funko Pops. I mean, it is Tony Stark. Go big or go home, right? And now let's get into a Funko Pop everyone I know is really excited for was Red Haired Shanks Wanted Poster. I was super stoked to see Funko come out with another Wanted Poster for One Piece. And I hope they come out with many more in the future. And now here's a big bad boy Caesar Clown. Which in my opinion, I think is going to be a future grail. Because the detail they put into this pop... And the hype around this pop was just through the roof. Thank you, Funko, for delivering on another great One Piece Funko Pop. And I just can't wait to see for the many other One Piece Pops that come out within the future. Because if they keep looking like this, it's going to be great. All right, thank you everybody for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And like I said earlier, if you can, definitely hit that follow button, hit that like button, also leave a comment. Let's keep this channel growing. I had a great time at C2E2, and if you were there, I hope you had a great time also. I am super stoked for all the exclusives I was able to cop today.